My friend Tom Coderre loaned me this little device. It's a FLIR 1 Pro LT thermal imaging camera. Uh, it's responsive to infrared light. That's what you and I experience as heat. It's capable of giving calibrated temperature readings up to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's quite a bit lower than the temperature that most things that I ignite in the backyard burn at. But I thought what it might be fun to do this afternoon is uh, make a few embers, uh, do some solar ignition, maybe some flint and steel, some other things, and get some qualitative thermal images and just kind of see what they look like. I thought that might be a fun afternoon project. Stay tuned. Here's just a little background imagery of my backyard. Uh, I just checked the temperature, it's supposed to be 84 degrees in the shade right now. The bright orange that you see is the sunny part of my backyard. I guess this sort of purplish area is some grass that's in the shade underneath one of the trees I have in my backyard. And there's my daughter Maria. Say hi, Maria. Hello. Clearly a warm body sitting in the shade. All right, just to give you an idea what's going on. It's my neighbor's house, some trees. All right. All right, our first little experiment is gonna be to make an ember with my red or slippery elm bow drill kit. Here goes. Trying to blow my amber away. Come on in, see if you can see that. I can see it. The ember is glowing red right now. Super hot. Spindle tip, divot. Cool. Mm -hmm. For this one, I want to see if we can tell a difference between a Bic lighter flame and the flame that results from my butane insert that I put into my Zippo lighter. Now to my eye, right now, the, uh, the Zippo flame is virtually invisible. It's got a really light blue flame. And the Bic lighter is maybe a half to three quarters of an inch tall. I'm in my garage right now because the wind's blowing pretty bad outside, but you might be able to see the flame flickering a bit because some of that wind's coming in here. And next thing I'm gonna try is uh, flint and steel char cloth ignition. Hopefully you'll be able to see some of the sparks too. Here goes. There we go. My char cloth's getting old. All right, this is a 
fire roll that I haven't rolled at all. This over here is my top board. And you can see that my hand is the warmest thing in the scene right now. Let's just tighten up the fire roll a bit, see what it looks like. Look at that, just tightening it up, it's starting to get warmer. Look at that. I'm not even trying to roll it hard yet. All right, let's get it. Let's get it going. See what it looks like. That's just a few rolls. It's not. It's not ignited yet, but you can see it's getting hotter. I can feel it warmer. Let's give it a few more rolls. Still not ignited, but it's getting warmer. Let's just go for it, see what it does. There is an ember in there now. I don't know if you can see it smoking. I got two embers in there actually. It's smoking on both ends. How about that? Bring it back just a little bit further. It's the hottest thing in the scene now. How about that? Just a cotton and ashes fire roll. I'm about to go put that in the fire pit. It's about to burn me. Okay. All right, let's ignite some magnesium shavings and see what that looks like. Wow, that's hot. Goodness gracious. Let's, uh, let's do this so you can see what it actually looks like when the magnesium ignites. It's just ridiculously bright. There it goes. Look at that. Goodness gracious, that's hot. It doesn't burn long, but it burns crazy hot. <laughs> How about that? That's always fun. <laughs> All right, my next demonstration is I've got a, a piece of denim slow match. It's just a piece of cotton denim that I've soaked in a dilute solution of potassium nitrate. Uh, I'm gonna solar ignite it with a Fresnel lens and then we're going to take it to flame with a little tinder bundle I've got sitting aside over here. Alright, let's put it in a tinder bundle and see what we can do with it. away from the flame.
There it's on flame, on fire. Oh, oh, la la la. <laughs> Ready? Okay, go. Did you say go? <laughs>